the City of Pines, a paradise that is located 1,400 meters above sea level and has an average annual temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, is one of the top tourist destinations in the Philippines. One of the first things that you get to see when you go to Baguio is the iconic 40-foot-high lion's head along Cannon Road and flocks of tourists trying to get a picture of the said statue. Other frequent tourists to Baguio skip this iconic landmark in order to skip the traffic buildup in the area. In the main city of Baguio, you can visit the Baguio Cathedral or formerly known as Our Lady of Atonement Cathedral, which was built in 1936. After Mass during Sundays, you can go down to Session Road where you can join the festivities of the local culture of Baguio. The street is closed during Sundays and you can see cosplayers and artists flocking around the area to showcase their abilities. Local restaurants can also see a boost in tourist traffic during these times. Cosplayers from MMORPG games like Genshin Impact, cartoon characters like Disney characters and Cocomelon, and anime characters like Pokemon are scattered all throughout the Session Road. Chalk art are also an entertainment in the area, mostly from anime such as Danganronpa, Spy X Family, and even recent anime like Licorice Recoil are showcased in the area. Still in the main city of Baguio is the Baguio Palenque, where you can buy the most affordable pasalubongs in the area like peanut brittles, lengua de gato, t-shirts, and strawberries. A good tip while shopping for souvenirs or pasalubongs in the area is to browse all the shops and ask for the price of the items. Some shops offer lower prices and discounts for the same product in the market. You can also buy fresh and single-sourced coffee beans like Kalinga, Benguet, and Sagada coffee beans in the market. Cafeterio Baraco coffee beans here are of high quality and certainly a lot cheaper than the usual single-sourced coffee that you can buy in the supermarket. You can buy whole coffee beans or request the shop to ground this coffee before they pack them up. They sell 250 grams, 500 grams, and 1 kilo packs of coffees in the shop. When you think of Baguio City or the City of Pines, what comes to mind is, well, pine trees. What better place to enjoy the scenery of pine trees other than Camp John Hay? There's a lot to do in the area like riding horses or just take a walk inside. There's also a paintball park where you can try the firing range, zip line, or wall climbing. You can also take your family and friends to have a picnic inside. Bring your own food, mat, tent, and other picnic essentials, and enjoy being around with nature in Camp John Hay. Chocolate de Batirol is also located inside Camp John Hay, where you can get their specialty chocolate de Batirol and other snacks or merienda like bibingka or suman. You can also visit other places in Camp John Hay, such as the Cemetery of Negativism, which was recently showcased in the movie Walang Kaparis, and many more. One of the top destinations of tourists in Baguio is the strawberry farm of La Trinidad Benguet, where you can personally experience picking up strawberries with your own hands. They offer a group picking package where your whole group of family or friends can all go inside the farm and pick the strawberries yourselves. It is priced at 780 pesos per kilogram of hand-picked strawberries. It is certainly a bit pricey compared to when you can just buy packaged strawberries outside the farm area but it is the experience and group bonding time that you pay for here on top of the strawberries. There's a lot of strawberries in the farm, even weirdly shaped ones. You can certainly get a whole kilo of good looking and sweet strawberries in your stay here. For those who opt to not hand pick their strawberries inside the farm, they sell this half kilo package of strawberries outside for about 260 pesos per pack for the most premium ones. I can certainly vouch that these strawberries are one of the most amazing and good tasting strawberries that I ever had. Outside the farm area near the parking lot, there's a lot of strawberry products that they sell to customers and tourists in the area. Like the strawberry ice cream with a very witty tagline. Another product is this strawberry tupig or a Filipino rice cake which originates in the northwest Luzon. I can definitely taste the strawberry in the rice cake and even found bits and pieces of real strawberry inside. Other products offered here is the strawberry sinigang, which at the first time looks and sounds weird, 
but it's certainly a 10 out of 10 for sinigang lovers out there. When you walk into town, you can see different kinds of restaurants and cafes scattered all around the city. From coffee houses, merienda, and full course meals, you can find every type of restaurants all around Baguio. I made a separate video exploring some of these restaurants which you can see using the link in the upper right corner. Let me know if you have already tried some of these restaurants and you can also let me know other hidden gems in Baguio in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my other videos by clicking on the videos on your screen. Until next time!